Hey there guys, it's me, Pro Boy, and welcome uh, to a new what if. Uh, I know I'm changing a lot of the what ifs, but uh, this is just so work gets out. Maybe you can all see my videos, and you can all ask me to make any kind of what if you want. Anyways, I, I just decided to make this what if because I realized... There are barely any what-ifs about this, and so I decided to make my own. So this is a Pokemon what-if. What if Ash kept Greninja? Part 1. So, basically, I think Ash basically left Ash, I mean, I mean Greninja, because he wanted Greninja to protect people. But the Zygarde said that they had, can handle it. And so, we go to, um, basically before Ash went to Alola, Ash started training with Greninja, being able to perfect the Ash Greninja. And, he even trained with Pikachu to overcome the weakness. And so, we skip on to the Alola region, where... Ash basically kept Greninja's Pokeball. And he started training to keep up with Greninja. And so basically everything goes in canon. Him meeting Lana and meeting all... Um, actually, no. You see, Ash thought it'd be a good idea to just run around the island while in the Ash Greninja form. And so he does this, and before, he actually realized that he can use some of the uh, Ash Greninja power in his, upgrading his strength and speed. And so they just run along the waters very fast, and suddenly Lana sees uh, them, and uh, he could, she could barely see them, but notices that there were two figures. She couldn't understand what they were, but she knew that there was some kind of water-type aura around them. And so, Ash and Greninja are just running around the forest while Pikachu just was still hanging on to Ash's head. <laughs> and so, they go in front of the... the... Toros and, and Ash and Greninja were actually able to dodge this. Jumping up. And as everyone, Lily, Salophocles, um, and even Mallow, seeing this, along with Kiawe. And they were really confused. They'd never seen a Greninja like that before. Ash then land, uh, lands and then uh, greets... Um, like, everyone introduces them to everyone. And then Solophocles would just come running up to him saying, um, like, a, a bunch of related stuff like, oh, what kind of Pokemon do you have other than that Pikachu and Greninja? What kind of Greninja is that? What are you hiding? And Ash would just be uncomfortable with this and says, um, hey, 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 give me some room, okay? I, I just, uh, I was just uh, wandering around here when I saw a Charizard, and basically this is only a one-off. This is the only Greninja that can do this. And Kiawe would challenge us to a battle, with Ash um, accepting the challenge. And Lana actually just looking at both Ash and Greninja and realizing that they must have been the figures that she's seen before. And as um, Greninja and Charizard fight, all the, all the people were impressed by how unique this Greninja was. Lily had been reading Pokemon um, from all over the world, but she didn't know that there was something like this. It wasn't Mega Evolution. 
but it was something different. So then it ended up with Terminator losing to a single water shuriken. And so Kiawe would then announce that Ash is now his rival. And um and Lana asking, can he turn back? And um yeah, Ash says yes. And so he decides to turn them back and they just uh and they just uh just breathe from exhaustion because the transformation takes a lot of energy out of both of them, Ash explained. And they would all understand, but are still confused about how such a Greninja exists. And then everything going as it can, and just uh, Mallow taking Ash to the um, to the principal. And Ash would actually show off his Greninja, and Principal Oak would actually be very confused. And, and we then skip on to uh, Kiawe battling Team Skull and Ash seeing the Z move. And, yeah, and then we skip on um, to when Ash gets his... Um, Rotom decks, the beginning to Rotom decks. Uh, and everything going as in canon until Team Rocket. And Wobbuffet will actually be using Mirror Coat against Pikachu's Electro Ball. And Ash decides to put in, um, Greninja, and Rotom Dex would actually be impressed he brought such a powerful Pokemon. But when Ash transforms into Ash, uh, it transforms Greninja into Ash Greninja, uh, Rotom was just in complete shock, saying, uh, I don't have any data. This has been a big day. A Meowth that could speak like a human, and now an unknown transformation to Greninja. What a day. And so Ash just says to Rotom to keep it a secret. Rotom would agree, and it all ended up with Beware just... Um, taking him away, like he always does. <sighs> yeah. And then... We go on to Ash battling Tafu Koko. He decides to use Greninja, seeing that he can show off all the training he did with Greninja, battling against an electric type. He decides to throw in Pikachu too, and in a few moves later, uh, he it, it ended it with Greninja using a big water shuriken and Pikachu using a full power thunderbolt. Tafu Koko was down and has piqued an interest into Ash, being being amazed how, how much potential this trainer had, even with the Greninja, which he didn't think was possible, but heard rumors about it. And, um... Um, I'm sorry, I haven't seen Pokemon Sun and Moon in a long time. Um, uh, hold on. Okay, so, um, basically everything going as in canon, and with the Pancake Race, he actually uses, uh, Greninja this time. No, oh, oh, come on. Anyways, um... Yeah, um, and so they just win, as Ash showing off Ash Greninja, 
with a very speechless, uh, uh yeah. But in this time of event, um, Ash actually focused us on training with Pikachu, including harnessing the power of Ash Greninja into his own body, which makes training more efficient. And this time around, he, when he finds out about Rockruff's training, he decides to train Rockruff. And, um, oh wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of behind on the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh, come on! This, I hate this phone. Come on! There we go. Oh, also... I forgot to mention that Ash has now the Waterium Z and the Electrium Z and the Normalium Z. As Tapu Goku giving not only the Electrium Z to Ash, but knowing Greninja, Tapu Goku decides to put in two Z uh, crystals. But one day in the episode of Salophocles, um, and training for Ash's rematch with Tapu Goku, and decides to put the test on both Ash, Pikachu, and Greninja. And the thing goes insane. Seeing the bond between the three um, Pokemon and the trainer, it revolves in a little bit bigger of an explosion. With the electricity beam thing actually having a little bit of red in it. Yeah, Salophocles being even more shocked and seeing all the numbers and and figuring out that Ash can use the Greninja, Ash Greninja technique in his own body. Salophocles would just be even more confused about this. And, um, and, uh, basically on the episode to... Treasure Island. Ash decides to uh, bring all of his Pokemon with him, saying that uh, in this time, Rock and Rock, Rock with Rockruff's training, he was actually getting closer to evolving. And basically, when they get to uh, the place where with the uh, top of Lightly. Um, Rockruff ends up evolving early into the dust form. Rotom will just be overwhelmed with all of what's happened. First seeing a talking mouth, then seeing an unknown transformation of Greninja. And now, he sees a Lycanroc. Which, an unknown form of Lycanroc. With Ash being glad, he decides to train uh, the new Lycanroc. Including, um, including, uh, training its weakness out and tell, and saying to Rock and Rock, it doesn't matter if your fur is all dirty. What matters is that you win a battle. Don't mind if your fur is all dirty. Uh, like and Rock would understand this and, and using the wisdom of, Basically, uh, the experience of the Ash Greninja. Uh, Ash realizes that when Lycanroc's eyes turn red, he gets stronger, just like him and Greninja. And basically, everything going as in canon, but Linden is actually able to evolve early and learn Fire Fang early. And basically, uh, with the, I don't know, Sandy Guest? I'm not sure what it was called, but it actually ends up going um, uh, and faster as one day uh, Greninja learns 
ice beam. As it was less um, uh, difficult for them as the Alolan Vulpix known as Snowy didn't have to put in so much effort. And Lyndon now, uh, I mean Torquette knowing Firefang is actually it all ends up fastly uh, dealt with. And, um, basically everything going as in canon, you know. But, at the Battle of, um, Gladion and Ash, Gladion decides that it wants to battle Greninja. And Gladion doesn't know about Greninja, and... When Greninja transforms into his has Greninja state, he is shocked. Like, he is out of words, and he didn't know what to expect for Ash. It was basically an unknown trainer that he thought of him as a mysterious trainer. And that he had suspicious Pokemon due to his Lycanroc. And Gladion ends up losing the battle this time. Gladion saying that he will be next time be Ash. Ash I'll be saying doubt it. This makes Gladion angry and he just leaves. And then we skip to the baseball episode. And Ash decides to use Greninja in this too. And he actually ends up using the Ash Greninja f form in him and in Greninja. The baseball player, I don't remember his name, is confused of how much, how good these two were doing. And it still ends up with them winning. And Jesse actually ends up getting his autograph before he had to before Beware took him. So oh, come on. And uh so we go to the old switcheroo um episode and Ash decides to leave Greninja with Lily this time. And, basically, um, and basically, you know, Greninja being well-mannered actually obeys everything that Lily tells him to do. Um, and meanwhile, the same goes as in canon, you know. And, um, and when he has the battle with a Greninja and the Oricario, Greninja actually, um, does better in this. And, um, it ends up with both Greninja and Lily hugging. And, um, and after an hour... They're still hugging, Greninja getting uncomfortable, and Lily's still hugging tightly onto them. And they just go on and just slowly challenging Ash to a battle with Grenin with her with Greninja. And then with full fixing that due to Ash having the uh, human Ash Greninja form. Um he was able to train Fol uh, Snowy a lot more better, enough to learn Ice Beam. Um, yeah, sorry if this keeps on pausing. Um, I'm basically going back and forth, because... I basically haven't caught up with the series, so... But... Oh, hold on, this is... Okay, there we go. Uh, but anyways, we go on to, um, what was her name? I forgot. Um, the one, uh, I don't know what her name is. I forgot. 
Anyways, when she hears the story about Ash and his Greninja, again, she is confused about how such a Pokemon exists, but is so excited about how much Ash went through and the potential he showed. And when we get to the top of Lele battle, Ash is doing much better showing off his Lycan Rock. And Ash Greninja to Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele actually remembers Tapu Koko talking about this. And they end up beating Tapu Lele and... And, um... The Great Flash actually appears again with all three Lycan Rocks howling again. Uh, okay. And we skip on to the episode of where they go to Kanto. And they, everything goes as in canon. Brock and Misty are, are impressed about Ash having a Greninja, especially Misty because of how much she loves water type Pokemon. Everything going as in canon, but when they get to the battle, um, um, yeah, basically, Ash decides to battle both Brock and Misty. And they started off basically with Ash using both Pikachu and Greninja. And, uh, when, and when Greninja transforms, Misty is even more shocked than Brock is. They've never seen this before again. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that don't know about Ash Greninja. Anyways. And they finish their battle. Ash beats both of them. And, and now Brock and Misty are looking up to Ash more. Because of how strong he had become. And so, um, everything goes okay. And we actually skip on to the second season. And, and everything goes as in canon. Still, Rotom being overwhelmed by all the unknown Pokemon he had come across. And, <clears throat> sorry, and Nevi growing an attraction to Greninja, uh, often likes to hang around it, and, and they just became friends, but when the, oh, oh, come on, sorry, but, and the professors get here. Uh, Ash forgot to turn off Ash Greninja mode. And when they enter, they see Greninja and are shocked because of it. And also he forgot to return Lycanroc, leaving them speechless. And Lily's mother asking, what kind of trainer are you? Why, why do you have such unknown Pokemon? Ash replying, I have a very strong bond with them. That's all. And so everything going as in canon. Ash, uh, making this word and, and just, yeah. Okay, so everything goes. As in canon, and basically, in the ultra space, everything's doing a lot better. But this time, um, Ash realizes that there's a two slot, um, um, C crystal. Not only does he get the peak and EMZ, and but he also gets a Ash, a special Z crystal called the Ash Greninjium C. Yeah. And so, using both the moves, Ash, uh, uh, Pikachu using 10 million, 
uh, Volt and Greninja using a special move called Golden Shuriken. He used this in the Kalos League. Ash and Greninja were trying to access this again, but had trouble, as it is now easier in uh, Z-Ring form, or Z-Crystal form. And basically, uh, everything being wrapped up, everybody going home, but on their first, um, what's it called? I uh, no, Ultra Beast Mission, Ash uses, um, Ash Greninja and Pikachu. And they're actually doing a lot better as they actually defeated, um, the Buzz Wall. And, basically, also Ash has been fighting in these battles on his own, too. And yeah, basically everything going easy with this and that. With Greninja along, everything has been easier. Even with Ash's Ash, uh, human Ash Greninja form. And they still train. And with the battle with Mimikyu, Ash decides it's been a while since he used Pikachu in a battle. So he decides to use Pikachu this time. And leave Ash Greninja for a rest. And everything goes as in canon. Pikachu winning and learning Electro Web. And so he... But this time... Um... Uh, when Poipol appears... He grows an attraction to Greninja. As seeing a very mysterious aura around it. And often hanging out with them. But this time, when the Grand Prix... Uh, no, no, I mean the Pre... Um, uh, what's it called? The Pre... Um... I forgot what it was called. Pre-Grand Trial. Ash actually wins this as... Lycanroc has... As you remember... Rock doesn't mind being dirty. And the guy, I'm not sure what his name was again, decides to let Ash uh, use the Grand Trial. As first, he starts out with Pikachu and wins. And uses the rest of his Pokemon, even letting Rock in. And when he shows off Ash Greninja, and... The guy just into his mind says, This kid is really a mystery with all that uh, Pokemon. He sure is a very mysterious one. And so... Yeah, everything just going as in canon... And yeah, still everything going as it can until the what's it called? What was the heck Pokemon called? The Crowsmo. Yeah, the Necrozma arc. Yeah, uh, I think the Naganala would actually sense a lot of potential in Ash and Greninja, and they're actually doing a lot better as. The Crossman was not able to um, uh, attach himself to either Sokaleo or Lunala. As they end up winning the battle, and and the two legendary Pokemon going an attraction to Ash and and then yeah, basically that. And in saying goodbye to Poipol. And everything goes different with the show. Including Greninja with it. As Ash decided to be Greninja. Seeing that he had the power of Greninja too. And so... Oh. 
hot. Like, at this point, this is gonna be a movie. Okay, but with the uh, battle with the green haired boy, I don't know what his name was again. Um, uh, Ash's Rowlet is actually a Dartrix because of the training. And because Rowlet never ate the Everstone, he was able to evolve and still learn Seed Bob. As, um, Ash wins this time. And the green haired boy is saying that he'll beat him next time. Uh, with the part where, uh, you, know, you know, the big explosion and Ash being in a new dimension. He challenged the man to a battle with the... I forgot what that Pokemon was called, but... He uses Greninja this time. And using his Ash Greninja form, the trainer is confused. But still ends up losing because of the training. As Ash still trained Greninja... Uh, because of his weakness, he decided to train the train Greninja with Pikachu. As uh, Pikachu kept on electrocuting Greninja, and it kept on toughening him, lowering the damage to being. And instead of it being super effective, it just effective. And everything going better, as in canon and. Ash returning to his um world and everything goes as in canon and I think Ponyon was it called Ash never steals the radish and he's actually able to take the grand trial I remember it now and he never angers the uh Tapu Fini Oh yeah, by the way, he did top battle top of Lulu and ended up winning. And still seeing everybody that was dead. Uh, the girl ended up being the Kahuna. And gives Ash his grand trial. And Ash doing better. S still shocking uh, every person he meets or battles with and Ninja. And, yeah, girl saying uh, that he has a lot of potential. But when he meets Meltan, everything goes as in canon. But Greninja seeing that this one had to be trained, he actually trains Meltan. He trains it on using the Flash Cannon and other stuff. He actually makes it learn Metal Sound. And, um, yeah, basically just everything going as in canon. But this time with the, the Ultra Base stealing the, um, Z-Rings, Ash actually does better in this. As he transforms, uh, both Greninja and Ash, they were actually able to outfast, um, the Pokemon. And so... They finish the Pokemon off and send it back to its world. That's how good Ash and Greninja are, especially with Ash's new form. But with the part of Magirna, Ash recognizes the Magirna. Yes, the movie is canon in this one. And Ash and Greninja remembering the time of a uh, volcano. Uh, Pikachu uh, ended up able to turn on Magirna and Ash saying, Hey Magirna, it's been a while. Magirna then hugging uh, Ash. Uh, Lily's still asking where um, where her father would be. As um, Um, yeah, we never did get to see uh, Lily find his father. So, again, I would then go with Ash and Greninja as they both speed across the, um, the ocean to find Lily's father. Um, a week later, 
uh, uh, Paul Sash and Greninja come back exhausted. But still finally father. And the whole family breaking down into tears and all having a family hug. But at the time of the Pokemon League. Um, yeah, um. Yes, everything goes still in canon. Um, um, yeah, and actually, Ash does better as this. And, uh, uh Tor can't able to evolve into Cineroar. And not being able to faint. Oh, also Rowlet evolves too. Uh, from Dartrix to... I forgot his name. But at the time of the final round, uh, uh, no, everything still goes in canon, you know, Melton evolving and, and recovering Melmetal. Melmetal be, is, and Nakanato coming back. He, Melmetal actually does better in this, and so does Nakanato. But at the time of the final round, Ash decides to use Lycan Rock. And with the Ultra Beast incident, everything else is in canon, but actually better since Greninja's there. And, um. And yeah, um. Um. Yeah, everything goes as in canon. The mask, uh, Professor Kukui being revealed. And the final round. Ash is about to use Greninja, but realizes he needs to give Pikachu a chance. And so Greninja is good with this and sits this one out. And everything goes as in canon. Pikachu beating Tapu Koko. Ash becoming the champion. And he is actually happy about this. And so, yeah, that's it. I guess this was What If Ash Kept Greninja, the movie. So, like and subscribe. If you want a second movie, then... I'll be glad to make it. So anyways, this has been uh, RZ Edibor Pro Boy, and I will see you next time.